Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. discussing very introductory understanding about stability augmentation system and the basis is you understand that when we took the determinant of this matrix which is a, which was stability matrix and the exact solution as the equation of this form is 4 plus b s cube plus c s square plus d s plus e equal to 0 determinant of this matrix and also we realize the roots lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda 4 for longitudinal case for lateral directional case they depend on the value of a b c d e their magnitude and their sign and in turn it depends upon the dimensional derivatives and dimensional derivatives in turn depends upon the non dimensional derivatives and of course inertia properties and we also realize that if we plot imaginary and real part of the root we wanted them either this way or maybe on the real negative side what was important that root should lie on the left half plane to ensure that there is a convergence but the question comes how far from the real and what is the magnitude of this if it is a complex conjugate that depends upon what whenever whenever we think of complex conjugate we know there is a natural frequency and then there is a damping ratio and we need to change omega n and zeta depending upon our requirement which is decided by the handling qualities of an airplane. Today we will be discussing about how do I change this omega n and zeta to satisfy the handling qualities of an airplane. This handling qualities we will be talking about, but to begin with you understand that they are primarily characterized or benchmarked through the values of omega and zeta or their product for different different modes for longitudinal short period, for fugoid, for lateral directional roll mode, then for Dutch roll frequencies, but all are focused towards omega n and zeta or sometime time to half amplitude t half these are all the concepts which are there in when you analyze the second order system ok. So, we will take first suppose we are dealing with longitudinal case I will give you one example so let us say for short period short period more and what we are discussing now we are trying to see how stability can be augmented during flight ok. So, we say SAS stability augmentation system or in short it says SAS. How do I approach? I said our target is handling omega n and zeta. Let us say if it is omega n and if it is a short period by now we know we have analyzed pure pitch 
have analyzed an approximate short period mode by simplifying the exact equation also we know the exact solution as well, but for a designer he will always try to start with the simpler thing. So, omega n if you see for a pure pitch will be root minus m alpha and this you know is equal to minus half rho v square s c bar c m alpha by i y y. Whole under root. You could see that this omega n will go on changing with rho, it will ch change with v or v square or rho, I can write because in the root, rho to the power half and, and v. The point is, as uh, going higher and higher, natural frequency short period mode will go on reducing as I increase V short period natural frequency will go on increasing or in totality if I say omega n changes with increases with dynamic pressure that is half rho V square or under root this is under root of Q. So, either I can realize with altitude as it goes higher and higher omega n reduces with increase in speed omega n increases with higher altitude omega n decreases because with higher altitude density goes down and with increase in speed omega n goes on increasing or also in totality I can say omega n changes with dynamic pressure the airplane is experiencing that is primarily the environmental condition right. However, from aerodynamically you could see that omega n changes with C m alpha and what is C m alpha? C m alpha if you recall it is a measure of static stability. or in turn it is a measure of stability margin. Let us say if there is a requirement that omega n be increased at some point in the flight, what is the way to do it? Omega n to be increased that means I need to increase C m alpha in flight. keeping rho v constant that is at a given altitude at a given speed I want C m alpha to be increased so that omega n is increased. How do I do in flight? So, let us say the approach is simple this is basic understanding should be clear this is the aircraft model and here there is a elevator input going here and here I am output I am getting as alpha angle of attack. What I do? I tap this alpha and multiply with a gain k and then feed such a way that delta E is k alpha. So, this is the delta delta E which is proportional to k alpha. Somebody may ask how do I measure alpha? Alpha can be measured by using uh, angle of attack vane. It should be measured by pressure probe. All this thing we have discussed in the last course. How C m alpha is changing? Let us see because of this delta delta E which is given as k alpha what is the delta C m we are introducing in the airplane that you know C m delta E into delta delta E 
which will be equal to C m delta e into k alpha. So, this is delta C m introduced by giving delta delta equal to k alpha and then from here delta C m by alpha which is delta C m alpha which is nothing but C m delta e into k. So, this understanding is there if I want to introduce additional delta C m alpha or artificially I am changing the stability matrix for that time I can easily do it by feeding alpha and deflecting elevator for that time proportional to k alpha. Okay. How much k? Let us say we have C m alpha basic that is which has been designed from the beginning depending upon wing location, tail location, C g etcetera, etcetera. This is available for the airplane. Now, we want C m alpha SAS some value which I am targeting and how do I get that value? I get that value because this corresponds to some omega n basic which is nothing but minus m alpha basic. Now, I want omega n sas that will be under root minus m alpha sas right and this is I know equal to under root half minus half rho v square s C C m alpha by I y y and this is C m alpha sas. Okay. So, if I know this value how much I need this is known and if I know at what altitude I am flying I know S C I know I y y. So, from here I can easily find out what is C m alpha sas required. You understand this? We know what is C m alpha basic that is omega and from there I know what is omega n basic that is given by m alpha basic and what is the C m alpha required through SAS? Why do I require it? Because I want omega n nu correct. So, this C m alpha will be nu and from there I need to find out how much C m alpha SAS is required and what will be C m alpha SAS? C m alpha SAS required will be C m alpha nu minus C m alpha basic. You already C m alpha basic is there right and that is what the role of the SAS which I write as delta C m alpha SAS. Okay. Should I repeat again? C m alpha basic you know from the design which is given by under root of m alpha basic and if I further expand it I find for omega nu for a given altitude and speed what is the C m alpha nu required? That means, Next question is how much C m alpha SAS required so that delta C m alpha SAS gives the additional delta C m alpha which is nothing but C m alpha nu minus C m alpha basic. Okay. And then you know this C m alpha nu minus C m alpha basic which is delta C m alpha that is equal to C m delta e into k right. So, what is k? k becomes C m alpha nu minus C m alpha basic divided by k divided by C m delta e and textbook you will find this is also written as C m alpha required 
minus C m alpha basic divided by C m delta e. That gives the value of k. Okay. But there are restrictions on k because do not forget finally whatever C m alpha nu you are getting that has to again go back to this. It has to be plugged in into that equation and see whether the roots are what you are looking for or not. Right. So, that restricts you cannot take too high value of k, you cannot take too low value of k. So, those are of engineering aspect, but fundamentally the approach is like this. This is one, then you have to also see that by doing this whether any other parameters are changing or not, especially aerodynamic parameters. Now, you could see that C L there will be change in C L also because C L alpha is given by C L alpha into alpha the addition of C L and if you see C L delta C L because of delta delta E which I have given as delta equal to k alpha. So, this will be C L delta E into k alpha. So, delta C L by alpha which is nothing but delta C L alpha will be given as k into C L delta E. So, by giving a SAS deflection through uh, using delta delta equal to k alpha, it is fine you have been able to change C m alpha basic to C m alpha nu or C m alpha required. So, that omega n is what you look for, but do not forget it is also changing the value of C l alpha. So, that also input will go here and you check whether still you are getting the roots on the left hand side and to the desired location, so that you have correct value of omega n. Okay, because this we have started using the very first approximation, we have taken pure pitch case and that is the way to start, because otherwise it becomes very complicated. Okay. So, this sort of a iteration goes on. right? Now, if you want to look for how do I change damping ratio, let us also see. Once you have understood this, how to change damping ratio should also become very simple for you. Let us not forget, we are talking about longitudinal case. Let us say now we want to change zeta. Again, we will take help of pure pitch for longitudinal case to start, and you know 2 zeta omega n equal to minus n q and zeta is proportional to n q or zeta is proportional to c n q from the pure pitch equation. Now, you see so let me write pure pitch. We are talking about longitudinal to so starting with this. So, suppose the airplane has zeta basic now, you want to increase the zeta to zeta nu, that is the question, because you are not happy, you find that as I am going higher and higher, the zeta is also reducing, because zeta, if you see here from m q is nothing but half rho v square s c bar c m q by i y y and other terms are there. Uh, so, you know that very clearly zeta will change with altitude as well as dynamic pressure. So, you have a zeta basic which you have designed the airplane for a given altitude, but you are now operating at different altitude let us say. So, now you want a zeta nu, so that your airplane has the right type of damping ratio as dictated by let us say handling qualities. So, how do I approach? Again the method is simple understanding wise if this is the airplane and this is the q pitch rate 
and this is what I do. Now I tap Q pitch rate using a gyro and feed delta delta E equal to K into Q. It's proportional to Q, I feed elevator deflection. I mean, as long as Q is there, I require this. Okay, right. So now what will happen? If I do this, again, what is delta Cm? That will be Cm delta E into delta delta E. That is equal to Cm delta E into K Q. Right? That is how I have deflected. And Cmq is defined as dcm by dqc by 2u1. So I divide both sides by qc by 2u1. So I get Cmq equal to from here equal to Cm delta E into kq. I write it delta. Or for your clarity, let me write delta Cm divided by Q, C by 2 U1 to get CMQ by definition. So I divide it by Q, C by 2 U1, and that gives me QQ gets cancelled. This gives me 2 U1 CM delta E K CM delta E 2 U1. K two by C is here. Right? Clear? I hope I have not done any mistake. C M delta into K Q. So I am dividing C M delta into K Q by Q C by two U one. Two U one goes up. C is here, right? K and C M delta E. Right? So this is delta C M Q which I am generating by feeding Q, which is measured through a red gyro and deflecting the elevator proportionally with Q. Right. Now, the question is, I know zeta basic, it has corresponding CMQ basic. And for zeta nu, I need CMQ nu. So, how much additional CMQ I require? will be CMQ nu or whatever required minus CMQ basic. That should be equal to delta CMQ and that should be equal to 2 U1 by C into CM delta E into K or I can write K equal to CMQ new minus CMQ basic divided by 2U1 by C into CM delta E. The CMQ new many textbook will tell CMQ required. Okay. So, do not I purposely I put CMQ new so that you know that suppose CMQ was basic was minus 18 for zeta basic, but for CMQ is minus 25 for zeta nu, then this minus 25 minus 18 is delta CMQ. That comes here, the rest is here, right? Again, whatever value of K you get, you have to again feed it back to that A s 4 plus B s q plus C s square plus d s plus e equal to 0 and check whether the aircraft is still, still dynamically stable or not. That is also very, very important and what sort of route or pair you want, what exactly you want those routes so that you get the correct value of zeta and omega and all together. Right? So, you have to go collectively with everything together you have to work, but same time you must also understand that as I am giving a feedback on q using a gyro. So, you know that C L also has a component C L delta E into delta E, right? Like it has C L alpha into alpha blah blah. So, delta C L 
because of delta delta e, delta delta e equal to kq, what will happen is it will here also has C L Q into Q C by 2 U 1 like this all terms are there. So, this will tell you C L delta E into K Q. So, again you find additional C L Q delta C L Q be seen by the airplane and that will be delta C L by Q C by 2 U 1 that is equal to C L delta E into K Q by q c by 2 u 1. So, this becomes 2 u 1 by c c l delta e into k. So, whatever k you have identified from here, make sure you know, this c l q which was basic that also gets altered by this delta c l q which you have to also correct once you are solving this exact equations right so this is in a nutshell I have given you the approach we'll solve one or two example on this so that you understand and similarly we'll build for directional case lateral case and if you understand this much you yourself will be able to extend this understanding to lateral directional case we will do that in the next class and I am trying to talk about handling qualities soon, okay. but I thought before I talk about handling qualities you should demystify all these SAS and all these are basically this is the this is the concept that is all right. Okay. The rest is solving six of equation of motion or finding a transfer function how to find their solution but understanding is this. Okay. Thank you very much.